Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, blue shaded uh, right triangle uh, DEC fully confined in a big uh, right triangle uh, ABC as you can see in this schema diagram such that the area of this uh, blue shaded triangle is 54 centimeter square whereas the area of this uh, trapezoid uh, ABED is 42 centimeter square and moreover uh, this segment uh, BE is uh, 4 cm whereas uh, this segment uh, AD is being uh, represented by X and furthermore uh, this side uh, AB is equal to this segment uh, EC and now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, X in other words, we are going to calculate uh, this segment uh, length uh, AD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. I'm going to label uh, this uh, side AB as uh, lowercase a. Then this segment uh, EC is going to be lowercase a as well. Then we can see that this uh, whole side BC length is going to be A plus 4. So I can write uh, A plus 4 over here. And now let's focus on this uh, big right triangle uh, ABC. And we can see the total area of this uh, triangle ABC is going to be sum of these uh, two individual areas. 42 plus 54 is going to give us uh, 96 uh, centimeter square and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area is always equal to a half times base uh, times the height of the triangle and we can see the base of this triangle abc is uh, this whole uh, side uh, a plus 4 whereas the height uh, is uh, lowercase a and furthermore uh, the area of this triangle abc is uh, 96 uh, centimeter square so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we can write down 96 uh, equals to a half times uh, a times uh, a plus uh, 4. And now I'm going to remove this fraction by multiplying uh, both uh, sides uh, by 2. And here we can see this uh, 2 and 1 divided by 2. They cancel each other out. On the left hand side we got 190. 2 equals to a times uh, a plus uh, 4 and now we are going to distribute so therefore we are going to get 192 equals to a square plus uh, 4 times uh, a and now we are going to move this 192 on the other side so therefore this equation is going to become uh, a square plus uh, 4 times uh, a minus 192 equals to 0 and now we are going to solve this uh, quadrat equation by grouping uh, and factoring so therefore let's focus on this uh, middle term 4a we can tweak this one uh, as uh, 16a minus uh, 12 times uh, a and we know 16 times 12 uh, gives us 192 as you can see in this uh, next step and here we can see a is in common between first two terms and negative uh, 12 is common uh, between last two terms so therefore we can write uh, a times uh, a plus uh, 16 minus uh, 12 times uh, a plus uh, 16 equal to 0 and now we can see a plus 16 and a plus 16 they are in common so therefore we can write uh, a minus uh, 12 times uh, a plus uh, 16 is going to be equal to 0 and now we are going to split these two factors we can write uh, a minus 12 equal to 0 and the other factor is a plus 16 equal to 0 for the first equation a value turns out to be 12 for the second equation a value turns out to be negative 16 and now we can see a value cannot be a negative number since a represents the side length 
So therefore, we are going to reject uh, this negative value of a and we are going to accept the positive value of a equals to 12. So thus our this uh, a value turns out to be 12. In other words, this whole side AB is 12 centimeter and likewise this segment uh, EC is 12 centimeter as well. So therefore we can see that this whole side BC length is going to be A plus 4 means 12 plus 4 is going to give us 16 centimeter. And now let's focus once again on this right triangle ABC. And now let's recall the Pythagorean triplets 3, 4, 5. If I multiply all these numbers by 4 across the board, then our new set of Pythagorean triplets are going to be 3 times 4 is going to give us 12, 4 times 4 is 16, and finally 5 times 4 is 20. And here we can see this number is 12, this number is 16, so therefore this hypotenuse length is going to be 20 centimeter. So therefore our this whole uh, AC length uh, turns out to be 20 centimeter. And now we are going to focus on this uh, blue shaded triangle uh, DEC. And let's assume that this uh, perpendicular DE is uh, H. And now we are going to find the value of this uh, height uh, lowercase h. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula once again. Area is always equal to a half times uh, base times the height. And in our case, uh, the base of this uh, blue shaded triangle is uh, 12. The height is uh, lowercase h. And the area has been given to us as 54. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula. So we got uh, 54 equals to a half times uh, 12 times uh, height uh, h and now we can see 1 divided by 2 times 12 reduces to simply 6 so therefore we can write 54 equal to 6 uh, times uh, h let's divide both sides by 6 uh, to isolate h so therefore our height uh, h value turns out to be 9 centimeter so therefore our this height value turns out to be 9 and now let's focus once again this blue shaded triangle DEC. And now let's recall the Pythagorean triplets once again, 3, 4, and 5. And this time I'm going to multiply by 3 across the board. And as a result, we are ended up with the new set of these Pythagorean triplets, 9, 12, and 15, by just multiplying uh, these numbers uh, with 3 across the board. And here we can see our uh, numbers are 9 and 12. So therefore, uh, this side uh, CD has got to be 15 centimeter. So therefore, our uh, this uh, CD length uh, turns out to be 15. And here's our final step. We can see that our this uh, AD length is going to be equal to AC minus uh, CD length. As you can see over here, this is our uh, AD length and that is going to be equal to this whole uh, AC length uh, minus uh, CD length. And we know our uh, AD length is being represented by X. So I'm going to replace that one with X. Our uh, AC length uh, is uh, 20. So I'm going to replace that one with 20. And finally our CD length uh, is uh, 15. So therefore we can write down x uh, equals to 20 minus uh, 15. So thus our x value turns out to be 5 uh, centimeter. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations our uh, x value turns out to be 5 uh, centimeter. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.